So we have already defined the contacts page as well as the main page, of course. But so far, at least in the contacts page, we are not able to see anything because we are working with a toolbar. And the toolbar is actually only going to be displayed inside of the title bar that gets added because of the navigation page. So during this section, what we're going to be doing is testing our application. During this lecture, we're going to start by testing it on Android. So far, if you remember, all we really have is the navigation. We are pushing over to the main page from the contacts page through the new contact toolbar item. This would mean that, uh, by the way, from the application, the app class, we are setting the main page to be, well, actually a navigation page but the navigation page has the contacts page as its root, which means that the contacts page is going to be the first page we navigate to. So let's go ahead and test this app on a simulator, starting with Android. Here at the top of Visual Studio, you're going to find a few options. And doing this on Windows is going to vary slightly. We're going to take a look at that in one of the lectures in this section, but mainly you can select what project we're going to be testing. Let's select Android. How are we going to be testing this on Android? Actually, in here I also see iPhone and iPhone simulator options, which make no sense at all. But let's go ahead and select Debug. And you are very likely going to see an option in here listed, at least one option in here listed of virtual devices, Android virtual devices that you can use to test your application. If you don't, which I find very unlikely, you will see this manage Android devices option. Again, on Windows is going to be slightly different. We'll take a look at that. And in this page, you will be able to create new devices. Now in here you will have to select maybe what device is going to be the base of these virtual devices that you're creating. As you can see, you can select from many different templates, let's call them that. Processors, the operating system that you will use, and many different options in here regarding RAM, regarding GPU, regarding cameras, the battery, etc. Just go ahead and create one. And once it is created, it should appear in the listing here. So I'm going to go ahead and select any of the options that I have and click on run. Now, when we made the installation, and by the way, I do have an error because I changed the name of my clicked event handler on C Sharp, but I didn't on SAML, so let me go ahead and do so. So I was running this application and telling you how when we installed this application, we searched for, I'm sorry, Visual Studio, when we installed everything, we searched for Haxam or the hardware accelerated options for Android emulation. And if you were able to install that, the Android emulator is going to launch quite quickly. So here I see the Android emulator that is already up and running after a very few seconds. Now we should wait for the application to be installed. We see Visual Studio working on it. And after a few seconds, we should see the application launching. With the application up and running, we see this navigation bar that I was talking about, this title bar that the navigation page adds. And in here we see that new toolbar item that we have added from uh, to the contacts page. And if we click on it, the event handler is going to be executed, the one that we have up here, which precisely has the push async to the main page. And we saw how we get navigated over here. And here is an interesting thing. One, by the way, my emulator is very, very small, as you can see. This is usually not that big, and as you can see, the save button is barely visible there. 
But the important thing in here is that the navigation page also added this back button. Now on Android, we always have the software or the hardware button in there. But in iOS, this is actually crucial. And we are going to see that back button as well. So we can see how we have this UI ready. We see all of the entries, the button, the new contact button, and we see the navigation happening very easily. In the next lecture, we're going to take a look at this same thing on iOS. And you will notice how this same code has created the very same result on iOS as well, of course, adapted to native controls.